Yeah, it's been a difficult one um, in regards to the weather, not being able to play many trial games and miss a lot of training sessions, but um, you know, it's a long season, so we'll catch up and hopefully uh, do a bit better than we did last year. The pre-season so far with the games we've had, it's been a nice build-up to the start of the season. A uh, quick test on the weekend uh, was Olympic, a yardstick from last year, so it was sort of uh, showed us where we were at this point, and we're in pretty good shape. It's gone positive, uh, everyone's fit, everyone's well. You know, obviously you get a few niggles here and there, but um, it's been going well. But the season isn't one uh, at pre-season, you know, the cup's not one at the start, so it's a good, gradual build-up towards the end of the season. It's been a big transformation at the club. Uh, it's basically a whole new squad. The boys are working hard and we'll see how the youth system of Lee Sterry goes this year. No, the boys have worked hard and we're looking forward to the year and hopefully you know, we can start well and uh, then yeah, go from there. So we started to get a good, um, yeah, a good rhythm, a uh, fair few games in there as well and you know, the boys have started to gel well together and starting to adapt to the style of play that Ben wants, so it's been, been going pretty well. That's what the boys have done really well, you know, listen to what Craig and, and myself have been telling them and um, you know, hopefully we'll be in a good position come round one. Yeah, pre-season's gone really well, so the boys are looking actually a lot fitter than last year, even if you compare the time frame, so I think we'll be very competitive again this year. The boys have had a solid one, and injuries have been kept to a minimal, one or two, which aren't, aren't too big, which are fairly good for us. Yeah, good, we got some good results. Um, I think we're undefeated so far, so yeah, it's been going well. And the boys are looking sharp. Yeah, they've been in since a uh, week before Christmas and up until now they've been training hard week in, week out. Uh, it's been a, it's a long gruelling pre-season at the moment. We've had three months of uh, a gruelling uh, sessions and uh, 11 games and uh, it's been going well for us. Uh, new signings, yeah. Um, we just signed um, a boy up front uh, called Jamie from, uh, from the UK. Played at Yeovil Town. Uh, in the UK, he's a very handy player, holds the ball up well. And a young Kiwi boy named Andy, uh, up front, he's very, very mobile. So uh, those boys, I think, will do a lot of damage this year. Yeah, we picked up uh, Michael Robinson from Bonnie Rig, who's a, who's a local Wollongong boy, which will be good uh, at the back alongside me. And Fabian Iacovelli, come back down from uh, Parramatta, he was up at the Jets uh, before, and he's another local Wollongong product. So. Tommy Meech from Sydney FC, as well as uh, Jared Lum. Um, and the and, and the Stephen the Stephen from Wollongong. Um, so we've we've gone for a young young approach and uh, and uh, we've kept the base from last year, which is the most important for any any club. Well, we've got a few Jap imports. Um, we've got a young guy from Ireland. We've got a few AIS graduates in uh, Paddy Dixon, Aaron Pedersen. Uh, we've got Corbina coming back from Central Coast. Yeah, I mean, we've got some good young boys coming through that have come through the ranks. Uh, Daniel Bragg's coming back from the Gold Coast um, United, and he's a real talent and uh, he's a real leader for a young guy as well. We've, we've signed a um, James Money from Rockdale, who looks really good and really sharp, and, and we've also picked up a couple of um, Japanese imports as well. So that's obviously something we like to uh, keep under the radar, so no, no, not too much about it, but pretty much a a, a striker, a midfielder and a defender for the Japanese boys. Well, we've got a um, National Youth League player in Louis Bozanic, obviously Oli's brother. Um, and then you've got players like Steve Valeski, uh, Chris Gomez, Chris Bedzo, Sean Mitchell. I mean, we only kept six from last year, so there's a lot of new boys. Well, just recently actually, Chris Payne um, has just come into the side, only been training a couple of times and first session he turns up and nutmegs me twice and, and tells me to keep my legs closed. So, yeah, it could be an interesting, uh, interesting few weeks for Payne leading up to the season. We've actually recruited quite well. We've got an uh, Sam Awad from Sutherland. He's a striker, he's a good target man, holds the ball up well. He's actually fitted in really good. We just recently signed Coco Elrich, who I think will be very good for us. He suits our style of play. Marco Summers, another young boy who I rate highly. We've gotten two 
overseas boys. I don't know too much about their background. One's Valerio and one is Junior. So we got Severino, which which helps, you know, with his with his dead balls and and his and his vision that he has. It, it certainly helps the team with someone that has a vision like that. It you know it comes good. Yeah, a lot of youngsters. As uh, we've got um, David Telefsky, uh, Tommy Serjak, Ryan Norville, all uh, A League juniors. So. They're all quick, fast and ready to go. Oh, there's a fair few. Pretty much a whole entire new team, new season, new faces. Uh, we've got Mitchell Long from Blacktown, Andre Gomez from uh, Wollongong, uh, Robbie Eunice from Arpia, uh, a few players from the National Youth League, from the A-League, Jordan Kreider, Nikola Stanojevic, uh, there's Nikodim Matic, new young keeper. There's a lot of players. Blakey Powell's just come back from uh, the Sydney FC youth team. Uh, Hayden Morton's come back from uh, the Mariners uh, youth team. We've also got a bit of experience from uh, Hussein uh, Salima from Bankstown, who is a bit of an X factor for us that we sort of really haven't had up front in the third. And um, Paul Cotty has obviously been renowned in our league, so yeah, we've, uh, we've bolstered, the, bolstered the squad well. We've got a very young team and the main thing for down there is probably developing and promoting young boys. So, you know, if, if anything comes more of that, it's an added bonus for us. The club will be very competitive this year, uh, looking at the playing roster and what areas what we've strengthened. But I think that uh, I think that uh, if you ask the coach, I'll say we'll run. We'll win it. That's what say. Definitely, first of all, uh, win it, and second of all, to produce um, younger players bringing into the A League, which is. Uh, Sydney United's heritage and we've produced many Socceroos and, and a lot of A-League players so that's, that's the future for the club to hit. Of course like every other club we want to we wanna win you know, but you know, we're not going to set our standard that high, we just want to have a better season than last year and show that you know, we deserve to be there. Realistically we, we just want to make the, the top four for starters and then obviously if we can you know, go, you know, we'd, like, we'd love to win it but you know, do we have the depth, do we have the experience, time will tell. You know, we're looking forward to the season. We haven't really set any expectations. Um, just go hard, work, work as a unit. You know, play some good football. And, you know, see where it takes us. Our ambition is to be competitive. To, if we can improve on sixth place, great. But we're realistic as well. And you know, we've got a young side, um, a developing team, and a team that I think in you know a couple of seasons' time will be very, very strong in the competition. Back to back, it will be tough. I don't think many two teams in the Premier League have gone back to back for the last 10 years or so. So I think it'll be a tough ask, but I'd definitely see us in the top two or three. Always, every year, we, you know, we should be we should be right at the top, challenging for the Premiership, no matter what. Last year, we just missed out on the semis. I guess this year, you know, to improve on what we did last year. but hopefully we'll try and finish top two this year. I think we've got the quality to do it as well. Well, being a Sutherland team, we've always you know, opted to make sure we uh, definitely make the semis and then from then on, hopefully uh, get into that grand final and, and lift that trophy. You can't get past Franco Parisi. Ah, uh, Sash Petrovsky, mate. Obviously, you know, you can't, you can't get past uh, Luka Glavish and uh, Stevie Hazy. Aaron Pedersen or Corbino. For me, you know, Travis Major is, is one of the best players in the league. A uh, player to watch out for, I'd definitely say probably Louis. Probably Scott Balderson. Had a very good season last year. For me personally, it would be Peter Trianis. I think uh, Sean O'Connell. Oh, I'd say Tommy Serjak. Nikola Stanovic played at Central Coast Mariners this last season. Uh, definitely one to look out for would be Panny Nikas again. Um, he's one of those one of those players that can uh, change a game on its head. Well, the New South Wales Premier League is a competition with wonderful history. Uh, you know, particularly for guys of our vintage. You know, we all played in it at some point. You're going back over 25 years now, but uh, we have great memories of it. And of course, it's a very important uh, step in the in the pathway to, to the top to become a professional player. Uh, it's a, a very important step to give young players a run in particular. Uh, and also, it's the next generation of coaches, and that's something we often forget. You know, we talk about player development, player development, and that's no doubt uh, undoubtedly true. But what about for the coaches? You know, where's the next generation of coaches coming from to, to become a Sydney FC coach? 
right? Well, it's coming out of the New South Wales Premier League. That's the pathway. So, uh, you know, this season I'm, I'm uh, uh, very excited to see the standard on the park, in particular to see some of the young generation coming through, but also to see the next generation of coaches and how they're progressing underneath the A-League. Well, look, it means a lot to me, in particular, you know, some of the clubs that are participating this year. Uh, Sydney United, obviously, I, I finished my career at the club. It's the club that I started my career at. I played 15 years there. Uh, I was a junior there. Um, it meant so much to me growing up as well, uh, when I'm talking about Sydney United in particular. But, you know, growing up, the likes of Arpio, Marconi, Sydney Olympic, uh, these teams have, have gone on for a long time. You know, there, there's a lot of history there, a lot of culture about these clubs as well. Um, so the New South, Premier, New South Wales Premier League for me, uh, it's the second best competition in Australia. Uh, I think the New South Wales Premier League in particular is probably the best uh, competition, uh, Premier League competition in Australia as well. So, uh, like I said, a lot of history amongst the clubs as well. Uh, I think it's a fantastic event, a fantastic competition. A lot, a lot of really good players as well. Uh, it's unfortunate some of, the, some of the players haven't been picked up by our league clubs, but definitely good enough to play. Uh, you know, there's quite a few players there that I thought that caught my eye in particular last year and, and could easily step up to our league level.